The starting point for the creation of the Learning Innovation Network is the identification, observation and description of its nodes, of the key player in the process and their reciprocal relationships. Learning is in fact a transformative experience that happens by means of the interaction among people and this is definitely the starting point. This is nothing new. 30 years ago, Donald Norman and Alan Cooper introduced the idea of the user-centered design. In other words, they believed that it was necessary to focus on the user from the very beginning of the design process of a product or of a service. In the Learning Innovation Network, users are represented by the nodes. But who are they? First of all, we have to consider the key players directly involved in the teaching and learning experience that are students and instructors and the relation among them. In addition to that, let's consider the scenarios in which these players act. We can identify an internal circle where nodes are strictly connected, that is, the classroom context. We can also identify a more external circle where nodes are more loosely connected. This external circle includes the program or the subject area to which the course we are designing belongs. We therefore understand that these outer cycles imply some stakeholders that are not directly involved in the educational experience, but they nevertheless have an interest in it. These stakeholders may provide meaningful insight into our course. They can be, for example, previous cohorts of students, teachers in parallel courses, lab experts, lab technicians, professionals in the fields, and so on. Hence, it would be useful to identify stakeholders and to explore their role and how they relate to the players directly involved in the course. To this end, we created an extended map that shows not only students and course instructors, but also the other actors that could in some way contribute to making the learning experience sustainable effective and, why not, innovative. In other words, we created a picture of both the key players in our program and the potential connection among them. Visualizing the actors and their connection can be useful in order to focus on the context in which the learning experience happens and therefore make the most of it. Be careful though, the map is not static. It can be integrated and modified according to the stage of both the design process and the teaching and learning experience you are considering.